Big things are happening in New York's energy market. In the last two years, the state has enacted a series of reforms that will completely change the way energy is consumed and delivered. Under the Reforming the Energy Vision Plan, New York is expanding its green bank, reforming utility business models, and building out a transmission highway. Its goal? To get 50% of electricity from renewables by 2030 and cut greenhouse gas emissions by 40%. The intended byproduct? $5 billion of new investment in clean, distributed, dynamic energy. New York's ambitious policy agenda has put it at the center of the global clean energy transformation. And at the center of the state's transformation sits the New York Power Authority, the biggest public power organization in America. The 85-year-old electricity provider is in the midst of its own radical shift toward modernizing the grid and energy services. We sat down with President and CEO Gil Quinones to learn more about his vision for NYPA's future. The New York Power Authority is a very unique entity. It's great that the state of New York has this tremendous asset at its disposal. And under Governor Cuomo's leadership, it's really being used as an entity that can inspire shared vision. You know, government, we have to set an example. We have to walk the walk. And to be able to do that, we have to be leading in all of this initiative. So from a NIPA perspective, when we created our strategy, we're calling it NIPA 2020, it's about uh, leading, it's about inspiring a shared vision to really propel REV and to propel and New York State's energy plan. Yeah, you are in this unique position. You have to set an example for people in the state and to bring the private sector along with you. What is in that strategy document exactly that helps you do that? So in that strategy document, NIPA 2020, we have six pillars. Customer energy solutions. We have smart generation and transmission initiative, intelligent asset management, process excellence, workforce development, and knowledge management. So those are the six pillars. And the goal is to really look at the energy system as an end-to-end -end system from generation to energy use and everything in between and transform this existing energy from a one-way power flow grid to an integrated grid. So we're sitting here today in Albany, New York at the New York Energy Manager, which is this new facility developed by NYPA to monitor public buildings. You're monitoring over a thousand buildings now. You'll ramp up to well over 3,000 buildings to help the state achieve this 20% efficiency target by 2020. And you're now digitizing buildings, putting meters in buildings and monitoring them for the first time. What are you learning from this data and trying to do with this data long term? Like, How does it fit in with NYPA's operations behind the meter? Now we can help public buildings optimize the way they use energy and propel the goal of REV. If you imagine the utilities can also use the information as they develop distribution service uh, platform for under the REV contract. And even the New York ISO, our big grid operator that administers the wholesale energy market, this is also going to be a critical resource because this can also be integrated into the operation of the bigger grid. So it's really an, a, a complete system that we are so excited about there will be services that will be coming out of this place, the New York Energy Manager, that we, we, we haven't even contemplated today. And that's part of this ramp up in the behind the meter energy services, which are becoming increasingly important for NYPA. You see this as not just a way to help monitor specific buildings, but to bring in people across the industry to help build new applications on top of what you're doing. Absolutely. So as we develop digital replicas or digital twins, of buildings, we have also created an open source database. And our goal is to standardize the application program interfaces so that this becomes a place or a hub where technology providers, both software and hardware technology providers, can come use the information here to develop new products and services to help customers and to help utilities. So think of it as a digital foundry. So my vision is that there will be multiple technology companies who will be coming here, maybe for a long period of time or just a short period of time, using real information, digital information of buildings, and developing new products and services. And we hope 
that when that happens, that they set up shop here in New York, they build jobs here in New York, and invest in New York. This also fits into the idea of digitizing the entire grid. And now it's about digitizing the distribution system and, and creating an end-to-end -end view of the entire system. We are now at the New York Energy Manager, which is looking at our customers' energy use, digitizing our customer energy use. On the other end of our, really, our core business, generation and transmission business, we're doing exactly the same. So under our smart generation and transmission uh, strategic initiative, under our intelligent asset management strategic initiative, we are also in the process now of streaming real-time information from our power plants, in our transmission system. Our goal in that project is to make sure that we optimize the way we operate and we maintain those equipment based on their condition and that we can predict the best way to take care and make sure that we have safe, reliable operations. It will also help in integrating more variable resources like wind and solar because now we have better information and better control and we if we have a complete view from generation all the way to our customer that is the optimum way of what we view the grid of the future ought to be new york has been very progressive on the policy front and now you have a lot ahead of you to do you've already made great strides in getting closer to the goals that you need to achieve that were laid out by New York State, but there's still a long way to go. What to you are the biggest challenges for NYPA over the next couple of decades? It always starts with, with, with having uh, the right people uh, and the staff that will carry out the vision. So at NYPA, we have really focused on uh, workforce development and knowledge management to make sure that we can implement and sustain the implementation of our NYPA 2020 strategic plan. You know, the first power plant was built in Lower Manhattan by Thomas Edison. The first transmission of electricity happened from Niagara Falls to Buffalo by Nikolai Tesla. I believe that we are poised to again lead the next generation of what the grid future, what the electricity industry will be. Uh, going forward. The culture of energy innovation lives in New York. Absolutely. This, it started here and we're going to do it again. Gil, great to talk to you. Thank you very much.